What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 98. 98, it means we are two weeks away from the 100th episode where we will reveal the best moments of the 100, the 100 episodes. We will reveal the best of the Needed Podcast um, for these 100 episodes, which is, what? Shoot, almost two years, over two years of podcasting, for real, for real, for real. Check in, boys. Let me know. So we are here, man. We are ready. Listen, I tell you guys this all the time, man. It'd be like... What am I going to talk about, man, on the podcast? Oh, I tell you, all right, what am I going to talk about? The blah, say, blah, blah. And the Madden community literally never, ever fails. Never, ever fails. But first of all, I got to let you know, they thought they could cancel the podcast. See, I'm going to tell you something. EA, these people, EA, like they can throw any event they want on any day. They can they can throw a Madden tournament on, on NFL Sunday. They could throw it on Super Bowl Sunday, and we would watch. But no, they chose to throw, throw it at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. That was the day they chose, you know, and I took a little offense to that. You know, I said, you know what? They, I, I feel like they're coming after the podcast. Listen, like I'm saying like, I, I feel like they're trying to get us out of here. But, you know, that will never stop us, man. You can never back down. You can never be intimidated. You just got to keep pushing through and you got to keep putting out the content every Tuesdays at 8 p.m. You know, so we have this little king of the hill. We have we have the Bot Wars version of EA's Bot Wars. You know, they're not going to put on as good a show as me. Although this chick I see on the screen, not bad. Not bad, I'll be honest. Not bad. Yeah, there you see, they're trying, to, they're trying to get me out of here with this 8 p.m. starting. And that's okay, you know, because listen, any good show doesn't change. Any good show doesn't change their schedule, doesn't change their momentum, and doesn't change their energy for any reason whatsoever. And we will keep the same progression and the same energy here on out, man. It really doesn't matter, man. But listen, um, the first thing I want to do is tell you guys. I, uh, the first thing I want to do is tell you guys about Players Lounge. You guys know they are the first sponsor of the Needed Podcast. Uh, they have supported me and this entire community immensely uh, through. Whether it's tournaments, whether it's money to gamble on there, whether it's, it's sponsorships, whether it's promotion, whatever it may be, they have targeted the community as their uh, kind of uh, their mission to kind of be part of the community rather than just feed off the community. If that makes sense. So I really I do want to show you guys the biggest news when it comes to players' lounges that they do have mutt quick matches. Now what you do? Oh god damn it! This is why you gotta check all this stuff. You have to check all this stuff before you go before you go live, man. You have to. It's just it's just part it's just part of the part of the production process. You have to check all these things, and sometimes you don't check all of them. But we're here now. So players now, like I said, they have this quick match, ten dollar entry. You can play for ten dollars. Ten dollars is like the number one amount, uh, basic amount. You go over here, match settings. Let's go, boom. Let's find our settings. Madden Xbox One, Madden tw oh Madden Twenty One. Let's do that. Lounge rules. Madden Ultimate Team. Four minutes all Madden. Boom. Mutt on the competitive mode. You can play just like that. Boom, and we can search for a game. So this is the first uh, gambling website to search first first uh, competitive website to really have uh, Mutt quick matches, and that's really a great adjustment. At the end of the day, we're all playing Mutt. If you're not playing Mutt, you are lost in the sauce. And me particularly, I don't really like the sauce. You know, I, I, I honestly, I'm, I feel like you can play for a little bit of amount. I think you can lower that amount. Who knows? I know for sure you can play for five, twos, and whatever it may be against somebody else for sure. Um, So Players Lounge, like I said, here's the link right here. You guys can put it in the chat. Make sure you at least make an account. That's all I ask. You don't need to put money in there. There's a lot of free options. There's a lot of free tournaments that not only I throw, problem throws, everybody else in the community sub tournaments are going to be run through players now so if you don't have an account on there you're going to miss out on all those opportunities to play for free money at the end of the day there's a lot of things we like in this world very few things less than free money free money is probably the top free food and free money F listen can't really go wrong. So Players Lounge has done a great job of really supporting this community, man. And I've always thought if a company or, or any type of business really uses this community, the strengths of this community uh, to help themselves, it's going to do well. And that's being displayed by Players Lounge efforts here in within the man community. So it's a big deal. So you guys should at least have an account there, bro. That's definitely a, definitely a big deal. So I definitely like those. So we have this King of the Hill thing. We have this King of the Hill. Uh, I don't know what it is, but we have Kiv set to play Boogs. 
Um, Boogs, for me, he didn't seem very interested. We talked earlier. He he said he really didn't want to play. He said everything is pretty shitty. And they misspelled my man's name on the little banner, bro. So for me, I was a little disappointed that they, they misspelled my man's name on the banner. I don't know if you guys saw that, but they spelled Boogs with an S. So that was, a, that was pretty wild. But we have here, right here, Boogs and Kiv. Uh, ready to play some John Madden football as we go full screen here. Let's see. Let's see what we're talking about here. Are they really talking? Think so far. I think I do. I think I kind of know how the meta is going to be this year just off playing the game. I put in a lot of hours on the game, especially playing Mutt. Um, I've definitely been locked in playing Mutt. So I feel like I have a good grasp on how this game is going to um go throughout the year pretty much room rating kim got a lot of christmas presents he ain't had these last year all right guys i i just want to let you know i'm having a hard time hearing both of your responses so oh my me god my here we go motion that i'm showing on my face um but i do want to get to the next question since Bugs you guys go home, bro. the pros Bugs, what's bro. the advice that you have for the Bugs people home. okay home trying to get better at this okay game. shorty Kip, let's start with you we kind of upgrading chat we kind of upgraded uh, one piece of advice i have for people trying to get better at, at home is just like anything in life you want to put in the most time possible if you're i mean she got to get an eight yeah thing. tim she got to at least so be an eight be like me or bugs or clef or dreamy or Dubby or Dubby. Um, you or gotta just put in the time. So that's why I didn't pick Kiv as my coach. That's why I didn't pick him as my coach. That's why I didn't pick him. Fuck him. Right, chat? And everything, and then Hang save me. Time and putting your own effort. Hang and save me. You'll make your way up the ranks. Disrespectful, bro. All right, some good words. Joke would have said W. Joke would have said W. Uh, I mean, I would definitely echo the same thing that Kiv said. Just watching, you know, these great players, all these guys in the King of the Hill are great players in their own right. And but then also, just w. you are who you hang around. So the guys that are in your circle, mm -hmm. that you're right? Well, thank regular, you so much, bam. guys. I wish you the best of luck. Why oh, she cut my man off crazy like that? Y'all saw that? Hold up. <laughs> hey, shorty, hey, up. Hey, shorty, who the fuck you think you are? Hey, you gonna cut my man off like that? Oh, hell no. With them dusty ass grandma pillows, bro. Nah, Charlie, go ahead, Charlie. Their big showdown. Oh, why they give these dudes the 99 camera? Bro, Henry Ruggs don't have this webcam, bro. It ain't no way Henry Ruggs have this webcam, bro. They got my, my man Boogs, bro. Henry Ruggs look like Ninja, bro. Charlie, thank you so much. Boy, talent is really used loosely around here. So happy to be along with you. I'm Nick Mazesco. The user, man. man. The man, the myth, the legend. It is one great user. user Yo, she cut Madden my man off. Crazy, bro. Madden, new game in Madden 21, and the best part is some real money. Yo, Henry Ruggs really be streaming his shit crispy like that? Oh, yeah, man. You got some of the best man players in the world, man, in the king of the hill. I can't wait to see these guys play, man. You know, I know Boogs is looking to get... Get some type of revenge on somebody because everybody <laughs> saw how he got done in the Madden Bowl. Oh, Damn. Man. Why did... Bro. Every time we see him, he getting popped. You feel me, Nick? I, 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 I bro, what we not going to do is just kill Boogs, bro. Nah, bro. Taking on Boogs. Both guys, uh, Boogs come... Both of them coming off of Madden Bowl appearances. Both of them come Oh, yeah. Nick Unibrow kind of crazy. High key, bro. In Madden 20. I feel like, uh, is, it, is it weird to say that this tournament, with a win here, maybe getting all the way to that final game, could be a kickstarter to a huge season in the Madden Championship Series? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if, like, you can really count the person, like, in the, at the end, like, Drini, if he only... Bro, Nick's game. chair is crazy, bro. Say if Kim or Bugs runs the table, to me, in my eyes, this will be just as big as winning a belt. Because when you make... All right, all right. Game, all right, we really fucking Lex. Five games in a row once you're at the live event. And so, and these guys... Relax. We know they're going to be some of the guys at the live Bro, that joint, she cut off Bugs crazy. Bugs was like... Bugs said... <laughs> first of all, I would like to echo the people... You, and the worst part was, bro, Shane even, like, respond to him. She just cut him off. He was like... First of all, I would like to echo what what Kiv said, and you know you are the people. All right, well that's I'm glad to hear from you guys. Let's move on from the bro. That was yo. Nick's chair is from 1997, one million percent, bro. It might be popping though. It might be a popping chair. Who knows, bro? That was bad. 
That was bad. Y'all better go clip that. Y'all better go clip my man Boogs getting cut off. Y'all better go clip my man Boogs getting cut off like that, bro. One of y'all, one of my mods want to go get that. We coming in fresh. I don't want to hear nothing about last year. You know, I text both these guys. I was like, yo, who, who you think I should pick? They was like, listen, it's a new year, but I still don't know. So you just go with your heart. And listen, man, these guys, man, they know each other. You know, Kiv is a tough, easily one of the top five players that we've had since the MCS era. Bugatti Bugs, you know the stats. He makes it there, but does he make it far enough? I don't know. And everybody know Bugatti Bugs is my boy. And what you asking me who should I pick now? If I pick against them, I feel like there will be some repercussions. Yo, they yo, they disrespecting Bugs, bro. And I don't know why. I, I mean, I'm going with your kid. I'm sorry. I know it's slander. I know they're going to eat me up. Damn, and that's crazy. Something in my gut. This man in 21. I'm trying to go undefeated. Juicy, bro, I can't be on shit like this, bro. Don't well, shake I'm, your head. I'm, I, I, I'm not, I'm not an option. Okay. I'm not an option to be on, on these type of uh, video programs. And that's cool. I've accepted the fact I'll never be on stuff like this, bro. I've accepted that. You know what? I accepted that and I realized I can do shit better than this. You know? And my success is, bro, I don't need this goofy shit. It's cool. You know? If I had it, I would love to play in these joints. Would love to play in these joints. But for me, I don't need these shits, bro. On everything. I really don't need these shits. Yeah, we in the trenches. Listen, I'm in the trenches doing my own dirt. You hear me? And listen, at the end of the day, my own dirt. My own dirt. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be better than the shit they got going on. Look at Bugs with the bookshelf. Okay. Bugs want to go home. You ever see somebody want to go home when they get there already? Like they already want to go home? Yeah, that's Bugs. Bugs one million percent the guy that already want to go on, go home, bro. He already want to go home. Oh, yeah, Bot Wars. Bot Wars glitch, bro. You already know Bot Wars is glitched, though. You guys already know that. As we get, I mean, we see Bugs on offense first. I mean, we'll see my man Kiv in the 146 defense. And we get a delayed game early. Oh, so we're on CGE Player 5. So do you think these guys got, got um, whatchamacallit, did they get granted any player they want in the game? Is the game laggy? for? I mean, my stream looks a little choppy-woppy. Maybe it's just my end. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. I don't know. Pause for odds, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like this on the mainstream. It's, I don't know. Normally, I do this pretty easily. Is it? Is it on the EA? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. But Bugs running for no yards. All right, we see Bugs coming out in the two. T oh, <clears throat> Bugs out here audible and from. I trips tight end to bunch or from wing offset to some some other formation so he doesn't have to face one four six. And Boogs throws a incompletion right there. Trying to weak box. He's attempting to weak box. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Kevin the two four five. I want to see some two four five. I want to see some good 245. That's what I want to see. Some 245 that actually works. Well, I like Kiv out here with the with the two man rush, bro. Let's see if Boogs go for this, man. Is it chop is it choppy? I, I lowered my shit to 720p, bro. There's no way it's choppy on EA side, bro. Yeah, Volt won't be involved in any other Madden events, bro. Yeah, this is this is bad, bro. I'll be feeling like it's my fault, bro. Is it my fault? 
That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Black man is in shambles, bro. I don't know, man. Kyle, yes, I'm aware it's in sub only, bro. But I got you, Kyle. I'm gonna gift you a sub because you're uh, you're a loyal, you are a loyal uh, supporter. I got you right now, bro. I appreciate you. Bro, there's no way this is EA stream is like this. There's no way. There's no way this is EA stream. I think it's got to be mine, bro. Gotta be, bro. This is just the worst. Tier one sub to Kyle thirty four fifty two. What a shit show, bro. Told you, not everybody can put on bot wars the proper way, chat. I'm just being real. Nobody can put on bot wars the proper way. The streets bot wars, bro. Oh, you, oh, Kyle put the cutoff? Oh, he put the cutoff on there? Damn, that was crazy. Nah, I'll retweet it with a quote, bro. They got, they got the service set. Oh, are we back? Is it crispy? Jesus Christ, bro. I've never seen a stream this do like this. That's because they want to have seven cameras and shit. Not everybody can do a seven camera production, bro. I'm trying to tell you guys. Not everybody can do this type of production. Not everybody can do this, man. And this is what they tried to get the needed podcast off the air with, bro. I'm just trying. This is what they brought to knock us down, chat. I'm just being real. This is what they brought to knock us down. This janky shit. Just, I'm just being honest. It's not going to fail, bro. You're going to have to come stronger than this, bro. Boys out there looking crispy though. Okay. Okay. Does Boogs get a first down? Does Boogs get a first down? Yay or nay here, chat. Damn, I really thought Kiv might have a one trap defense. Cameras are definitely at their house, kind of like the Madden Bowl. Okay, Bugs, that's some shit, then Bugs, okay. Okay, I told you, Bugs might pop right here. They spent the stream quality money on little baby. Jesus. I wonder if I, yo, I wonder if the next stream is gonna be crispy. Yeah, yeah or nay, chat. Are the next streams gonna be crispy? What do you think? I mean, he's definitely in Seattle. I don't know who these tight ends are. Are they tight ends or can you really get wide receivers in those positions? Boy's got a glitch here and tell me, bro. This is tough. Nah, the little baby joint gonna be crispy. Watch, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, books do a book. Bugatti books, man. Is this brutal to watch, bro? Is this brutal to watch? Oh, 
I, I gotta see, bro. They're probably airing out EA right now, bro. EA's probably getting aired out, huh, boys? Oh, here we go. My man Deliverance said, never liked MCS events with auto invites. I don't care how deserving the players are. They better not earn MCS standing points for this since they're the only, these people are included. They can have their own money from the tournament. That's fine, but there should be nothing involved. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. Let's see. Look at Shy. Shy got an attitude, bro. Shy, ain't nobody care what you gotta say, bro. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's not my stream, bro. Glad it's not my stream, boys. I really thought, honestly, I really thought it was this. I really did. I thought it was me. As we see, Kiv look like he's about to. Sw oh no, Bugs got the ball back. Bugs has the ball back. Hold up, boys. Bugs is cooking with gas right now. Bugs is cooking with gas right now, boys. Bugs is cooking with gas. He caught a pick on Kiv. Oh my gosh. Bugs is cooking with gas. Then you gotta have the your man right there filming you, like bro. Did they fix the quality? Did they fix it? Did they lower the bit rate? Did they lower the bit rate? They might have lowered the bit rate, bro. Thing might be it might be a little bit crisp. Ah, it's still choppy. I mean, boys, we gonna throw the ball. Bro, Dollar, first of all, don't bring up Bot Wars like Bot Wars is a negative. Like, Bot Wars is something we should be ashamed of. As Bugatti with the worst run stick of all time. Literally could have walked in for a touchdown. Literally could have, he could have backpedaled walk into the 10 zone. Did anybody else see the touchdown right there? Did anybody else see that touchdown? Somebody had to see the touchdown. Somebody had to see it. Absolutely insane that that, 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 that did not. Did that that did not garner a touchdown for Bugs, man. <laughs> he better score right here. That's all I know. He better score a touchdown right here. As we see another 0-1 trap from Bugs. I why are we no huddling, bro? Catch your breath, dude. Maybe you like this run defense. I like how he has this. Uh, I mean, he had the RPO. See, Bugs don't have the RPO reads. I'm trying to tell you guys, the RPO reads aren't easy to get out of nowhere, bro. You got to be born with the RPO reads. And Bugs is really not going to score a touchdown after missing that easy running. Bugs make up his mind before the play. I mean, I, I yo, Bugs really got Shakobi in the background. Look at this shoe. Can y'all see the shoe? Oh, I think it's my face cam is in the way. But that dude definitely is Shakobi. He got cankles and some and some van sneakers, not regular vans, like some van sneakers. Like he got the all purpose. You know, you know people that got the all purpose sneaker. Like literally do everything. Go to church. Oh my God, do you drop your nuts right here, Bugatti? He goes right to the line. Here it is, Lamar Jackson. I form wing. And there we go. A little run right there. Kiv gets in the backfield, but Eddie George powers through for the Bugatti. The tires aren't flat on the Bugatti as he goes up 7-3. to three. You see the leg, bro? It's a fat-ass leg with a low-cut sock. Bro, when you have fat legs, bro, you got you can't have the low cuts. You can't have the low cuts with fat legs. You need some type of ankle or you need some type of, you know, tube sock or something. Yeah, you can't have... Am I wrong? You can't have... You can't go out there and have the uh, the tube, the, the low socks with your whole ankle out. You got to cover the cankle. That joint just can't be out like that. 
And a, a quick tie. We thought we thought Kiv was going to run away with this one. The Bugatti is looking strong. Does anybody in the chat want to change their vote? Does anybody want to change their vote? As my man Tecmo with the gifted, the god. Thank you, man. Let's get it, boys. Gotta grab some water. Does anybody want to change their pick as Kiv dumps the ball off to Barry Sanders? Lamar Jackson drops back here, gets a big sack right up the middle from Leroy Glover. This, I, I believe the first game is for $2,000, which is pretty tough. I should have Bot Wars King of the Hill, bro. It should Bot Wars should definitely be a King of the Hill scenario. As Kiv, most audibles out to a little bunch offset or bunch wide, whatever this is. And we throws in the flats over here too. Jermichael Finley catches a truck but gets tackled. Um, Kiv, I mean, Boogs is playing right now, man. You guys think everybody thought we were down. Yeah, I don't know how Boogs has Leroy Glover and Eddie George. He might be cracked. Pulse route over there. Tyreek Hill. Nice read by Kiv. In the field goal range here with a minute and 22 seconds left. In the half, can he take all this clock and get seven points? He also gets the ball at half. Remember that if you're at home watching, if you're at home listening, Kiv does get the ball. We see him in this bunch offset, the Carolina ebook from Kiv. I believe he has a book out right now. Proud of Kiv, man. He has his own Madden uh, tip site. Uh, I think it's 818madden.com. So if you guys want to check out Kiv, make sure you guys check that out, man. He's doing a lot of work. Uh, even popped a couple streams lately. I've been seeing Kiv pop a couple streams. Uh, trying to really uh, maximize his uh, pull in Madden here. Uh, as we see, what what was that? Delay a game? And and Bugs declined to delay a game. Okay. Friendly friendly fire here. Is that what's going on? As we see, once again, steps up in the pot. Does Kiv loft it right here to Tyreek Hill? Does he get out of there? Tyron Matthew inside the five. Let's see if Bugs tries to save some time for himself here. Um, I probably would have called timeout right there on defense because uh, the, the, the clock is not against Kiv. He still has two timeouts, and we see Boogs do that to try to save some time before half because he's going to have to answer because he's more than likely at least giving up three here. We'll see what Kiv has for the red zone. Uh, goal line. Goal line early to two-yard line. We'll see who Kiv decides to give the ball to. This is something you got to pay attention to. It looks like he has Derrick Henry in that fullback position. Boogs coming out in 3-3-5 three, three, still. Hits a run commit. Derrick Henry gets wrapped up in the backfield. Gains nothing. Another timeout for Boogs. So Derrick Henry is the money man that Kiv chooses to give the ball to. Whereas, you know, uh, maybe we see Finley. I give the ball to Finley. Sometimes you see Bo Jackson. Blown up again. Boogs with a stand on the goal line. Bro, what Boogs is this with run defense? Wow. Wow, bro. So we're here, third and goal. Let's see what Kiv does. Does he stay in that goal line or does he go back to more of a pass set? Maybe try to cook a little dot right here. This is the things where streaming where you get hurt because people will know your tendencies. As we see, Boogs come in a little bunch offset, but he has two tight ends in the game. So he might audible. Yeah, yep, there it is. The audible down the eye form. Might go stretch, might go dive, depending on what he likes. He goes stretch right. A lot of people out there. Kenny outflank him. Kenny outflank him. Barry Sanders falls in the end zone. Touchdown. That's something you got to be aware of. When you see him come out with two tight ends or two running backs, you got to notice he'll be ready to audible down to that stretch and snap before they even get set. And there it is, though, boys. So, 39 seconds right now. Boogs has no timeouts. I will tell you this. As a Madden player, he can hurt himself here more than he can win the game. Hear me out on this when I say this, Chet. Boogs cannot win this game right here, but he definitely can lose the game right here. So pay attention to how this 39 seconds go because it's going to dictate whether or not we're tuned in for the rest of this game, honestly. As I just poured my Gamer Subs, man, the Needed Podcast also to you, brought to you by Gamer Subs. You guys can check these out, get these huge, these huge amount of servings for the cheapest energy drink on the market, honestly. Nice little blue sploosh drink, you know what I'm saying, for the night. As we see Bugs drop back here, three-man rush. 
steps up, nowhere to go with the football. He's going to throw it away. And that in lies, man, you do the ball away. What you did right there was you saved Kiv a timeout. You could wind up punting this ball as well. El Tigre right there, man, with the 16 months, my guy. Tigre, thank you, man. But here it is, man. We see more gun, gun wing offset from Boogs. Motions left to right. Tyree Kill, what's he going to? What is he like from this look? Uh, and what is Kiv going to play on defense? A little cover four from Kiv. Oh, that's a tight throw right there to Jermichael Finley. Actually drops it right there. Drops it, does not get the feed in, does not get the completion, and we're in a big third down. You don't want to go three and out right here. You don't want to do that. If you do that, what happens is that, boom, now you're going to have to punt the ball back to the kicker as he goes with an 0-1 trap. Worst run stick in the history of Madden. You cannot have worse run stick than Bugs. It is literally impossible to have worse run stick than Bugs. You can get on the game and try to fuck up runs and not be as bad as Bugs. For real. You can get on a game and literally, no. I, I would a million percent get a first down right there. He ain't used to jukebox. He didn't even juke. Like, bro, that was crazy. Sauce was good, man. Boog's changing some flat zones. He's changing. Still has his yellow zones on five. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but I really don't touch my flat my zones that much. Swayze, my guy, continuing to gift it. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Bro, Bulls just smacked the turbo. Here he goes. Drop back Kiv. Gets sacked right there by that Leroy Glover card. Uh, expect to see Kiv take this to half right here. I would call timeout, maybe run the ball with that Bo Jackson, something like that. Cole, what's good, man? Yeah. Boog says, oh, there's a first down. There's a touchdown. Now I'll go the other way. Game is winnable for books. And we see Kiv as the smart player he is. Calls a timeout here with four seconds left. Uh, just to run the ball. We'll see him run a stretch. I would say weak side stretch. Weak side stretch seems to hurt me a lot more than the strong side stretch. But we'll see what Kiv decides to do. Is he doing a couple hot routes? Maybe he drops back and goes post to Tyreek. Goes stretch strong side left. Barry Sanders gets out of there. Gets a couple blocks. Ooh, big tackle right there by Tyron Matthew the Badger. And we are at halftime. Bot Wars. I heard rumblings. I heard rumblings in the streets that the final bot wars or the the, the grand finale should be Shakobi versus Earl. I don't know, chat. I don't know if that's the way we want to do. I don't know if that's something that people want. I don't know if that's something that people want tonight. I don't know if it's something we need to do, but it could happen. Bro. Earl was unbeatable last night. Earl was unbeatable. No, 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 no. Earl, uh, y'all must have missed Bot Wars last night. Absolutely unbeatable. He was absolutely unbeatable. Earl was unbeatable, bro. Earl was unbeatable. So you guys think Shakobi beats him? Okay, baby. Good job to both of the competitors, but young Kib, you've got the edge right now. I just want to remind everyone, this is a gauntlet-style competition here, King of the Hill. Gauntlet-style competition on Madden Tuesday nights. And as a reminder, the winner of this match tonight will face Pavan next week Pavan. in round two of our King of the Hill gauntlet. He is watching live. You can see him right here. He's scouting Pavan. the competition. My man Pavan. He's trying to see what's good, trying to see what he can expect next week. And we are going to catch up with him later on in the show. Who's Molly? There also is a completely separate gauntlet going on for the NFL. Why did they just bring my man? also begins tonight. And we are going to talk about a rivalry. Tonight's comp competitors are really no strangers to one another. Two years ago, Clemson cornerback A.J. Terrell and Alabama wideout Henry Ruggs III, they faced off in the college football national championship game with Terrell and Clemson victorious. <laughs> Tonight, these two offensive juggernauts are up again on a different field, so you can call it a rematch of sorts. But before the second half, let's take a closer look at one of our competitors, Bugs. He is a longtime. Who I don't know, Molly is, bro. Competitive scene 
with this season being unlike anything anyone has experienced. My man Ruggs is high key ugly, bro. I'll be honest. Cameras to give us a behind the scenes. Boys is high. Key. I mean, Ruggs, Ruggs is high key ugly, bro. High key, bro. Okay, we're going to a Boogs, a Boogs crib shot. Okay, six thirty for Boogs. Me and my wife met when we were young. We were probably 10, 11. Oh, you we fucking loser. Met as kids, um, my aunt was working with his mom, and I would often see him at family gatherings. Um, didn't really. Alex is goaded, by the way, bro. Alex is goaded. And then. Um, Alex is goaded, though. High school, went to college, and on my very first Thanksgiving break, went to visit my aunt, and she mentioned him, and you know, I was like, oh, you guys should, you know, meet up, and. I was very, very, very apprehensive about it, but when he opened the door, totally different person. Aww. Honestly, it makes my life so much easier having a wife that's like super supportive of me being a gamer and you know my career and what I do. You know, a lot of gamers are just going to bed now, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas me, I'm I'm already up for the morning and ready to go. Sucker. She wasn't always that supportive. She was just like any other girl or woman or whatever you want to say uh, at home that guys deal with. Of course, you think as a girlfriend, like, uh, I wish he would just, you know, get off of these games. But as time grew on and he started making money from it, I knew that I had to be just as interested as him because I saw it going somewhere else. Chat. Y'all can hear me? Test check, test check, test check. I feel like that's the new name now, Chad. We're going from Bugatti Bugs to Hollywood Bugs. Oh my that? God, man! What's She's wrong with Bugs, bro? Version of like that that Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. She rides with me, man. She whatever it is that I say I want to do, she just says, you know what? Let's go. My God, all the doors so Get the self hypes in the chat. I mean, what is really going on? What's my man's doing, man? God. First Madden I remember playing was probably Madden ninety. One or two. Boys ain't played no man since Madden 91, bro. I've been playing this game since I was three, four years old. Oh yeah, this video since tough. This video better than the gameplay, bro. The game. I've always had a passion and a love for Madden. I'm showing y'all how I became me, how I became the goat. Oh. It went from just like participating in a, a side hustle or a side thing that I've had a passion for to really wanting to see it grow and what I can create out of it. Boogie swag is negative, bro. Introduce our family to new people. It's like, oh, what do you do? And then I'm like, you know, I'm a teacher. And they're like, oh, what does your husband do? He's a gamer. And they all kind of, you know, side tilt. Um, so that's, you know, fun to explain. Now it's something that I actually do for a living. And so it's like now it, it's surreal. So I get to do something that I love and I have a true passion for. I'm connected to it. Like it's a part of who I am now at this point. So it just... It's one of those things that I'm going to forever have a, a passion and a love for, and that, that'll never change. I'll be happy as shit to tell people I play Madden. I'll be hyped. Like, yeah, I play Madden. That's all I said. Like, what? Like, yeah. I'm that bull. <laughs> hey, no, I'm that bull. Yeah, I'm bull. And also is better half for that very up close and personal look. Bull. Later on, we're going to spend some time with young Kib. I'm bull. The you ain't know, I'm bull. him. To new heights but right now what do you say let's get you back to nick and user for some more king of the hill action. okay boo guys she kind of she kind of like charlie's so light much. i'll be honest charlie's light charlie's light bro bull i'm bull charlie's light i'm disappointed in charlie boogs want to go home still bro like he still want to go home I mean, I don't really care about. All right, Nacho, relax, bro. This is a, this is a uh, this is a family friendly podcast, bro. <laughs> who's the oh the black kid? You talking about who is the black guy with freckles? The the fake Rico. What abilities Boogs got? He got no D line abilities. Did he try the same thing again? All right, this is what I mean, bro. Boogs butt naked D line is getting at Kiv right now. I swear, sometimes the book, sometimes the butt naked guys really get at. There we go again, coming around the edge. 
Kiv underneath. Big tackle by Adrian Wilson. And we're going to have a fourth down early on Kiv's first drive. You're playing boogs. You're not playing an offensive juggernaut. What are you going to do? What are you going to call, man? You don't get this. You give up a tie game already. I feel like Kiv is a little bit uneasy about this decision. Fourth and four, I feel it's very gettable chat. Do you go for this or do you kick? Let me go. That's why I, I didn't say, oh, yeah, 3 3 5 be shutting crazy. Yeah, I might have to mess with the 3 3 5 every once in a while. <laughs> As third as a placebo. <laughs> Here we go. Fourth and four, Kiv at the line. Lamar Jackson snaps the ball, drops back, three man rush, has everybody, rolls out right. Looking deep, nowhere to go with the football, really throws back across his body, and Bugatti gets off the field, man. Huge stand from the Bugatti Boogs. He is everywhere on the defensive side of the ball. We haven't seen defense like this from Boogs ever. To hold Kiv to 10 points on about four possessions. We'll see if Boogs can take the lead here, working on an immaculate run stick, tripping over his own player. I will be honest, you guys know when you watch good runners, you go watch Problem Play or some of these, these better runners that are really good. Watching Boogs is entertaining as well. How will he fuck up an easy run? Let's see how it works. As we see the blur, we see uh, the camouflage screen. Another 0-1 trap from Boogs. Gets into the open field. Can he score? No, he cannot score again. I will be honest with you guys, chat. Uh, watching Boogs run... Makes me feel like I'm tough running the football. Like, it just makes me feel tough. Like, I'm ready to go, man. I'm one of the better runners. Seriously. I'm one of the better, better runners. But we see Kiv, normally one of the better run defenders in the land, struggling with this here 0 1 trap as we see it again. Oh, oh, a fumble! A fumble! A fumble! That's the one thing about Mutt. The one thing about Mutt, man, you have four or five running backs, man, where you don't have to give the ball to Barry Sanders three plays in a row. Pay attention to the stamina. Huge change of events. Bulls got really unlucky there on that fumble inside the five-yard line, man. That's so we see Kiv audible to a little trips, going with his own power. Barry Sanders up the middle with a tackle. Got to sub him out right there, man. Got to sub out. Oh. <clears throat> Gotta sub out your running back, get a fresher body in there closer to the goal line. Maybe a Bo Jackson, maybe a Derrick Henry, maybe a Jerome Bus Bettis. Oh! Bo I'm telling you, Bugs is playing some defense. Well, you know, sometimes you get a little you get a little caught in your throat right there, you know. Pause. Yeah, Bugs needs some celery, bro. But once again, we see the gun bunch offset from Kiv. You guys know the bunch master Kiv. Audible's out to a little bunch open. Has the numbers for the RPO. Will he go to it? No. He hands the ball off here to Barry Sanders. Picks up four yards. Um, I'll be honest. Kiv does not look good on offense. Boogs like looks like he has a lot of things under control right now. Water was not open. My man, shout out. My guy. Six months, let's go. My man, shout out right there with the six months. My guy, thank you. I appreciate it. We see Lamar drop back pass. Dropped by Barry Sanders. 25-yard line. Kiv is 7 for 15. 106 yards and an interception. Not highlighted numbers from the Kiver. Um, Boogs is playing some really solid defense out there. Um, hard to tell. He's manning up a lot of people, playing a lot of zone, really making things uncomfortable for the Kiv right now. Let's see if Kiv can put it together and go ahead and get a first down here. Third and six, Lamar bunch to the left, drops back, everybody on a route, goes for a low ball. This three-man rush is eating Kiv alive. The fact you get to the three-man rush right there before you can get rid of the football, really disappointing. We see Kiv with another fourth down. Can Boog stand up again? Can he stand up again? No, Boogs is balling. I won't. I won't take any Boogs go Boogs jokes anymore, because he is absolutely balling right now in this three three five motion left to right. Looks like it might be mesh post. All five receivers out. Who can Kiv find? Go C route. Tyree kill. Great route. Great read from Kiv picking up the first down. Bro, it's looking rough right now. What is? I I'm surprised. I'm telling you, the um. The four, 
the four or what you call it the three down linemen from three three five the butt naked no ability three down linemen are absolutely killing Kiv and that's something that happened last year remember early in the year a lot of people ran those edge protectors and we thought oh let's get edge protector in the game because of these edge threats it kind of changed since then it's my man she loved Mike Locke with that with two gifted thank you buddy I appreciate it man let's keep it going Barry Sanders up the middle for Kiv closing in the field goal range oh he's at the 44 yard line uh, if your books just keep playing defense, good things will happen, man. Um, if I knew what abilities were out there, I would let you guys know. No idea what abilities are here. Um, as we see Kiv <clears throat> once again motioning to this ace. We'll, I, we'll see Boogs go left with his linebacker. The quality is really deteriorating right now. Snap from Kiv. Where is he looking to go with the ball? Rolls out with Lamar. Lamar is just... Ooh! You guys know I fumbled that to the crib, right? You guys know I fumbled that to the crib. I fumbled that to the crib for sure. But let's see, man. Can can Kiv get it done, man? Can he go ahead? This has not looked good. They are playing on an Android. That, that could be true right now. We see another audible out to this three-wide set. Um, Kiv with another run, Barry Sanders. We see a we've seen a lot of runs from two guys that are predominantly passers. The running game has been more effective for both of these opponents as we close into the fourth quarter here. Who's going to make the plays? I will tell you, man. The next turnover in this game could decide it. I'll tell you that much. Obviously, as we're in the fourth quarter, Kiv up by three, looking to have a touchdown drive to put this game away. He's going to have it. Lobs the ball up to Brandon Cooks. Baja. Brandon Cooks burn and Tyron Matthew. If you if you're Boogs, you definitely want wanted the ball on that drive. Thought you played good defense. Gave up the big bomb over the top to Brandon Cooks. A uh, huge play by Kib. If you're if you're there, you're feeling good about yourself because now you're up two scores. And can Boogs put a drive together to make this an interesting game? Madden Mobile. The GGs, are we putting the GGs in the chat already, boys? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we are doing? Do you think Boogs has no fight right now? Hey, I'll be honest. After seeing this, I might get rid of my edge protectors here, boys. I might get rid of my edge protectors, boys. There we go, Boogs. Motion right to left. Julio Jones in the slot. Snaps the ball. Boogs drops back with Lamar Jackson. Hits the B route. Great diving catch from Tyreek Hill. Closing in the field goal range. Plenty of time left in this ball game as we're playing five-minute quarters right now. If Boogs thought this was Madden Live, best of boy, he'd already been down 21, bro. Boogs has a negative record in Madden Live. Oh, we see another run. I mean, now is when you have to realize. My man, the OG, there it is for nine months. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, for real. The OG to God, man. Put some pennies in the chat for my man. We see Bugs taking a lot of time being deliberate here at the line. Snaps a little. Oh, big dot. Oh, we get the interception from Byron Jones. Gets up out of there. Oh, little stick from Kiv. Can he go Baja? Byron Baja. And that's going to seal the game up for the Kiver just like that. Byron Baja. Byron Baja. There it is, man. GG's in the chat. Bugs want to go home. Does not win the two thousand dollars. Feels rough to be the book man. Feels rough. If you guys would like, if you guys would like to go ahead and watch uh, Derwin versus who else were we watching? Derwin versus Rugs or Derwin versus Little Baby and Rugs. Please head over to EA Stream. I am I am personally not that interested in Rugs versus them guys, honestly. But. 
I mean, if we tighten up the production, I will tell you guys, it's not that easy to put on a production like we do for Bot Wars. It's really not that tough to do. It's really not that easy to do it. I know we make it look easy here in the headquarters, but, you know, all around the world, you know, it, it's a lot easier on paper than it is to actually put together. So don't be mad at EA for the quality because, you know, you can't always put all the ducks in the order. You know what I'm saying? Tim, I honestly, I could run it. But, you know, they have not requested my services. I have my services is not be requested for pretty much anything. So, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to continue to run my shows and my tournaments the best of my ability. Because at the end of the day, man, we're going to get it popping. Bot Wars, I'm telling you, nothing is better than Bot Wars on Madden right now. Uh, as Bugs it does throw a dot, but he is down by 17 points with three minutes left. This game is cooked. Vex, I, I am not a party... I am not a part of the EA plan going forward, and I'm fine with that, bro. I'm fine with that. I have my own plans. Yeah, our pack money, our pack money is going to the CEO. Boogs is the nah, bro. I can't lie. Earl might put hands on Boogs right now, boys. Earl might put hands on Boogs right now. It is. It is definitely a questionable, a questionable decision. I think I'm going Earl over Boogs. Earl is hot right now. Earl is definitely hot. But like I said, I believe uh, this King of the Hill is going to be pretty good. Um, I, I'm glad it happened right now. We were able to cover the important game, uh, the good game. We were able to watch it. So hopefully the production tightens up a little bit for next week and we'll be able to watch. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Kiv versus Pav in next week. I think that's an absolute slobber knocker. A must-tune-in event, honestly. I don't know if we're going to have Bot Wars tonight. Um, the streets have been asking for Earl versus Shikobi. That has been... That has been... That has been the requested Bot Wars. And honestly, I don't know if, if we can do that tonight. I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Earl... This is Earl's week, honestly. The streets have been talking Shikobi versus Earl... It has been mentioned, it has been brought up, and I'm not sure if that's where we're gonna take it. I'm not sure if that's uh that's the angle. If we can get that, if we can get the our ducks in order to bring that production on for you guys, honestly. But the biggest news we wanted to talk about in, in the weekend league, as I don't need to hear any of this anymore, but the biggest news, I guess, or the biggest topic. We have to talk about as Miami and Boston are down to an absolute slobber knocker. Now, I, I normally don't take breaks uh, during the podcast, but I mean, we have 40 seconds left right here. Boston is up by two points as I see Kemba Walker dribbling out against uh, DeAndre Campbell. Gets into the lane. Uh, DeAndre Carroll, I think. What's his name? Yeah, Carroll. You guys know what I'm talking about. But the Heat fight and they get the block. They are down by two with 40 seconds left. Who do you guys like to win this game? What's his name? De Damari Carroll, right? Damari Jay Crowder? Who the hell's Damari Carroll? Who is Damari Crowder? You know, somebody named Damari Crowder or De Carroll or some shit. Y'all know. Y'all know who the hell I'm talking about, bro. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You know, when you watch a lot of sports every once in a while, you'll mix up one of the Crowders. All right, yeah, okay. Y'all, my bad. Oh, as Boogs gets a fumble. Boogs has life. Jay Crowder and Damari Carroll. So, yo, right, how can y'all have never got them mixed up as uh, Bam has the ball high key? Over here to number seven, I think is Duncan. He kicks it back. Jimmy Butler. Pump fakes in the corner. Corner three from Jimmy Butler is good. Wow. Had an open corner three, then pump faked, made the shot a little bit tougher. And Jimmy Butler goes up and gets the huge three-pointer to put Miami up one point. Jimmy Butler, former Sixer great, now Miami Heat uh, leader. Tough. As we do see, Boogs has some life here. As we check back in, after the fumble, Boogs has some life. Uh... As he rolls out here, gets sacked. The life is dwindling right now for, for the Boogs, man. Never mind. As soon as I click. Now, let, let's go back to not looking at this anymore. Let's do that because he was doing better when we did not have it on the screen. Yeah. But anyway, um, so King of the Hill looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, 
Bot War should Bot Wars be King of the Hill style? That's what I'm asking. Is Earl on the King Hill right now? Is he the one uh, we should be focusing on Bot Wars? Really, who can knock off Earl? And then next week we knock off who's next? Earl Wars. Earl is the king of the hill, bro. Earl is the king of bot wars. He really is. It's crazy. Arnold, bro, it's, it's uh, what you gonna call it? It's it's like glitched or something. It's glitched right now. But we see the Boston Celtics right now, man. They're gonna inbound the ball. They're down by one now. This is something here in Philly we always credit. Uh, the coach of Boston to do always draws up the right plays gets the right shots as we get an off ball foul before the ball is inbounds I believe that means they get one shot and the ball back. I believe that is the NBA rules. Tell me if I'm wrong Um, I believe that's the rules right now That's gonna be tough to really overcome honestly As number five for Miami, plowed over somebody. And one shot and ball, that just removes all the pressure off this, all this pressure off of this situation. Tatum should hit this. Oh, he's a little bit short right there. But that removes all the pressure off of this situation here. Uh, the one thing about basketball, it's a lot different shooting it, shooting a shot, knowing the worst case scenario is you go to overtime. But if you're shooting a shot, the worst case scenario is you lose. A little bit more pressure on that shot uh, really makes it a tougher shot to hit. But we'll see what the Celtics have here as Kemba Walker gets the ball. Um, left key right here. We're going to let the clock dwindle down. We're at 15 seconds on the clock. We'll see what he likes. Do they go high screen and roll? Looks like they're going to go screen and roll to get a good matchup with Tatum as they switch. Get Tatum the ball back. Wing for Tatum all the way out by the three-point line. Isos, three seconds left. Far three for Tatum for the game is short. Gets the ball back, and we're headed to overtime. No offense, no nothing. Uh, Got to attack the basket. Wasn't the worst shot, but I've always a, a shot that far away. If you're the Miami Heat, you got to live with it right there. I mean, you just got to live. I like good defense. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, if you ask Tatum, he'll tell you he could probably hit that shot. You know, you know, we'll see. But all right, let's talk as we get into overtime. I want to watch the end of this game, but let's talk about franchise. My man, franchise, former Madden great, now cheater. If you guys weren't aware, man, this was the first weekend league. Now, Jack, what's up, buddy? Now, listen, I never knew. That it was really this possible for people to like disconnect people. I didn't know. I didn't know that was this possible. I didn't know how it works. I was never hip to this. I never believed that people would purposely do this. You know what I'm saying? If it happens to me, and I see this all the time on the internet, on Twitter, people tag me. Look at this guy. He's a freeze glitcher. He's a DC glitcher. Ban him. Now, me as somebody that plays a lot of Madden, like you guys, sometimes we run into people we disconnect all the time. So I never think of it as, bro, this is like somebody's doing this on purpose to me. Never thought of that. Never thought that was a real thing. Uh, one, this is how I feel about Weekend League, right? No, this is how I feel about Weekend League. And we'll talk about whether or not he should be banned or not. One, qualifying. Listen, there's two different arguments here, right? They made Weekend League a super qualifying mode, right? Weekend League is a competitive MCS mode now, all right? So qualifying has to do with it. My opinion on qualifying, if you're good enough and you try, you should qualify. If you try and you don't qualify, you're simply not good enough. Nobody didn't qualify because somebody cheated, somebody got a free win, somebody dashboarded them, blah, 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 they got disconnected. No, honestly, you weren't good enough and you didn't make it. If you fully tried, you know, and if you wanted to put, if you wanted to wait till the last week to grind to qualify, then God bless, maybe, um, as far as I'm concerned, maybe uh, you should have tried a little bit more. I have always felt that way. As my man fr framed with the Twitch Prime, thank you, buddy. I have always felt that way, bro. So him, as far as I'm concerned, him cheating 
really didn't have an effect on anybody qualifying. Ultimately, it's just bad that you can't have somebody cheating that deliberately. Also, I don't know how somebody thinks that they can get away with cheating that obviously multiple times throughout a weekend, right? Like my man literally disconnected. I saw two people losing the game, clock running out, disconnected. Two people. You know, with everybody with Xbox record that, everybody streaming, everybody with Discord, everybody else with some type of uh, technology to record the screen, um, you got to know you're going to get caught. You know, and, and maybe once you could get away with it, chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe one DC you can get away with, right? I feel like you could sneak one in there. Yeah, like, I, bro, I feel like you could sneak one. And this is how I always feel about cheating, right? Because, let's be honest, we all done tried to cheat at something. Whether it be relationships, sports, video games, uh, math tests, whatever it be, right? Don't chat. Let me know if you have ever tried to cheat at anything, right? Like, literally anything. I, bro, I done had tried to cheat at everything. Now, I don't know what type of human beings you are, but after my cheating experience, no matter what it is... I feel like I feel like a loser. I'll be honest. I feel like a loser. Whether it's tests or anything, I still feel like a loser. Seriously. Cause you like like No, I don't think you can sneak two or three, bro. Not the same person. Then here go the worst. Bro, here's the other thing about it. Bro, franchise has had the same gamer tag since Madden Forever, bro. Everybody knows who this person is, and we're literally like, bro, you can't be that ignorantly bodish stupid. Like, that's OD. I'm just saying, I feel like a loser when uh, any type of cheating or. Yeah, hey, listen, I remember Madden 08 used to be able to take a safety and boot people off so you didn't get the rank game lost. Yeah, I done did that shit. I done did the shit. But in the end of the day, you still had a feeling like you lost. That's what I'm saying. I done did the shit. But you still have that damn I lost feeling. Yeah. I just I just don't understand how you not only could you... I understand how you could cheat. People done cheated. Free wins. Everything. Listen. Damn near every Madden player has done some type of cheating. Play for somebody. Get free wins. Like, that's part of Madden. Listen. That's part of any online competition, right? If you're going to completely put something online and make it competitive, where you really can't... There's so many variables in online. Because there's so... And we'll talk about whether or not franchise should get banned, Right? There's so many variables in online competition. Like, bro, how can you tell that, man, maybe his shit didn't really drop right there, right? Maybe he got lucky and his internet really, maybe he went in a thunderstorm and a tree fell on the wire right in the fourth quarter. I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, there, there's definitely variables. I mean, he certainly did it. He cer No, I'm not saying he didn't do it. But there are a lot of variables to internet playing. There really is. And we have to acknowledge that, bro. And that's going to happen. All this type of cheating and all this is going to happen when you when you just have an online competition. It is literally going to happen. Nah, it could have been a lot of trees. I'm just saying there's a lot of variables that come, in, come into play in all this shit, really. Yeah, that's another thing, bro. Like, he could have really kept it calm. Bro, and this is this is another thing I always learned, right, chat? Right? When you cheat on a test, you don't you don't go for a hundred, right? You don't go for a hundred. Bro, he could have cheated. If he would have cheated his way to 24 and 1, nobody would have said shit. Right, chat? Nobody would have said shit. Yo, you could yo, you could boost your way to 24 and 1 every single weekend, bro. Every weekend, you could boost 24 and 1, and nobody would give a shit. Bro, but if you boost the 25 and 0, now here come the little rat smelling some shit. All right, bro, that's some bullshit. Like, 20, bro, you got to boost. You have to boost to a realistic number. 
Hell no. Nobody cheat and get 100. You got to get like a 92. 92 is the perfect cheating number. Shit, you might get an 88. 88's a glitchy cheating number too. Yes, bro. It's definitely similar to Grease in the Wheel. I mean, this is an absolute hell game right here. As Marcus Smart misses a three. They always look at the hundreds. Bro, and then you can't talk about this shit. It's like robbing a bank and being like, yo, I just got $3 million. Let's go spend it. No, ass, you got to go into hiding. You have to go hide after that shit, bro. You got, can't tell nobody. You can't get to 25 and 0 and hop in chats talking about I'm the man. No, bro. Yeah. That's like robbing a bank, posting a picture with your ski mask. What's up, boys? Right, that's literally what you do. Bro, people just stupid. People ain't been outside. That's what you got to realize. They're not hip. They're not hip. My man went 25-0 and 0 cheating. That's fucking scummy. But I will always say, man, competitive... Yo, Weekend League is just not a competitive mode. Weekend League is just not competitive. One, I'll tell you why. If you had all-year Weekend League, if you had a big sample size, maybe... But 25 games a week, it's kind of a small sample size. Two, you're not... Yo, Weekend League is who can beat the bots, bro. Seriously. Out of 25 games, you might play two people that will be in the tournament, honestly. So for me, the overall competition of the shit just really isn't... You can't judge competitively that. If you play the salary cap leaderboards or you play leaderboards like they used to be, you're going to play the goons all the time. You know? But weekend league is a weekend league is the best thing to happen for ultimate team. So it's definitely not a negative. Like there's no way we taking it that way. It's super awesome. And like you said, EA can now say everybody that plays weekend league has competed in the tournament. So when we have the Madden Bowl or the Madden Club series, whenever they have it, the finals, they're gonna say six million people played in this tournament and only two people are left. They're gonna say that because it sounds good and Pizza Hut is more attractive because 6 million people played in it. And they can sell their sponsor blocks a lot more because 6 million people played in this tournament rather than, let's be real, the couple thousand people that really play in the tournament. Seriously. So let's get on a topic. Should this man that cheated to get 25-0 and 0 be banned? Should he be banned? And I want to see what the poll as we have a poll here. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, you can check it out live Tuesdays, 8 p.m. on my Twitch channel. We have an overwhelming 80% vote right now, over 100 votes. Yes, they want this man banned. Now, okay, ESPN. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like he's an easy person to ban. Gee, there's nothing good about Weekend League. There's nothing good about Weekend League as a competitive. There's just nothing. Weekend League makes it seem like more people play the tournament. It's just not It's just not a... But I do agree. If you're good... I, I said that before that. If you're good... Bro, if you don't if you don't qualify, it's because you're not good enough or you didn't try. Two reasons. There's no excuses. There's two excuses to not make the tournament. You didn't try or you're not good enough. That's the only excuses there are. Pick one if you don't make the tournament. You know? And if you don't try, and honestly, if you don't try, I never want to hear you ever talk about how good you are at Madden or how this, that, and the third. Period. That's the end of my, I will never hear anything from anybody that doesn't try to qualify for the tournament. I just how I feel. They can give away a million dollars and you'll say, I'm good, but I'm not going to try to qualify. I really don't know. He should be banned. I, and this is something's crazy. It's probably something a lot of people have been doing. You know? I mean, he just was so blatant. I feel like you got to try. I feel like, and this is what's crazy, as, as, as a commissioner or as, you know, the ruler, franchise is an easy guy to ban. Right? Because he's like kind of somebody, but he's really nobody. Right? He's really nobody. 
If it was joke or if it was Kiv, it'd be like, damn, can we really ban Kiv? And like, bro, that's crazy. You can ban franchise and uh, ain't going to be no ripples. People are going to get scared. He's a perfect person to, uh, what you call it, to make an example out of, honestly. Oh, franchise is the man. I honestly, as somebody that has spent a lot of time talking to franchise, and I honestly have eliminated franchise from about five online uh, tournaments. I swear to God. Um, as Kemba Walker hits the jumper, um, hits the jumper to take the lead with 23 seconds left. This is an absolute barn burner right now. Yeah. I, but that's why I'm pointing. I can't believe franchise did this, but he is an easy person to make example of. You know what I'm saying? He's an, so that, that being said, I would ban him with the quickness because you're not going to get any lash back or anything like that. And it's, and it's ultimately good for the game. Um, what can you do though? Can you, I don't think you can ban somebody for life from this. Like, what can you do? You're out of this tournament. You're out of the club series or you're out of Madden 21 competition. What is the, what is the uh, argument here? One year is the minimum ban. I feel like banning him is, I, I do feel like banning him is rough. I feel like that's rough, dude. Could they, I mean, what could they really do? Like, could they not let him play weekend league? Could they not let him, uh, bro, first of all, and if, I, if I'm if i franchise's PR, if I'm his PR person, bro, he should have been came out. And this is the only thing you can say. Damn, they caught me. <laughs> That's all you can say. Bro, you literally can't say nothing else. Right? Like, what can you... Oh, you have the damn. They caught me. GG's. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> like, you can't... Bro, just, you got to take this shit on the chin. Crazy. What if they just didn't let him play... A pl they, you're not allowed to play Weekend League till Christmas, bro. But this is how I feel like. He would just play it on another account. I don't know. My man's, bro. Yeah, he should have said, bro. He, he really should have... Hey, yo, they caught me. He should have said, yo, they caught me, bro. I tried. I, I would have just been like, yeah, if you ain't cheating. Jimmy Butler to the basket and one. <laughs> bro, the Sixers really had Jimmy Butler, bro. Yo, you can't hide, bro. I mean, listen, and people blame EA for this, bro. Like, And this goes back to the variables of online gaming. If you have an online connection, at some point, you know, things are going to go wrong, bro. It's just like, there has always been some types of DC booting people out of every single online competition that I've ever been aware of. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, so I don't, I don't think this is, this is EA's fault, but I think they should definitely make an example. That's why I said, bro, he could have got away with one. Right, chat. He could have. He could have. He could have booted one person. He could have disconnected versus one person. You can't do two. Not in this day and age. Panty, a one million percent. EMB was quiet. Specifically, joke. Yes, I know. But at the end of the day, I mean, I'm I'm not snitching on my own person. And I, another thing, I don't like, bro. I don't like, bro. I'm not like the biggest snitch and oh my god, look what this guy did type of person. That's really not my twist, bro. I, I've never been like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all feel. Some things I guess you got to like snitch on, but uh, this is how I feel. If somebody's not like, that shit really don't affect me. Really? Yeah, he got way too greedy, man. Greedy man stays hungry, though. You got to try, bro. Yeah, I, I really don't think... uh I really don't think I, I went and ran around and snitched, bro. And I feel like old D people snitching, like, bro, like. All right, for, lights. You're talking about fucking what? It, I'm in a trap and there's rats. Like, what the fuck is this, Goodfellas, bro? We're on the wire right now, bro. We're playing fucking Madden, dude. 
It's a video game. Problem, he did not fuck problem out of money, bro. Relax. Oh, shit! No, he didn't just block that dunk. Damn, Tatum. Where the Tatum people in the chat? Golly. God damn. Left-handed? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God damn. That's one of the best blocks I've ever seen, bro. At the rim. Left-handed, dude. That's one of the best blocks I've seen, bro. Wow. No timeouts for Boston. I've always, always, bam, miss, misses the first. I'll tell you what, I've always been a fan of, I guess they have no timeouts right here, two seconds, and they're up by three, you have to make this field goal, but I've always been a fan of missing, when the, when the team has no timeouts, I've always been a fan of missing the, the free throw, but not when you're, when you're up, th when you're up two. Because if you miss the free throw, they have zero shot of getting any type of shot here with two seconds and the ball tipping around. But he makes the free throw right here, man. No timeouts. 2.5 seconds. Marcus Smart throws the ball in. Tatum catches. Falls on the ground. Gets up. Fires. Actually hit the rim with that shot. It's actually crazy. Jeez. Jeez. That was a, that was a crazy block, bro. I can't believe he actually like hit the rim with that shot. First of all, I've always thought if you're on the ground with the ball and you get to two feet, that's a travel. I've always, like, growing up, that's how we always played. Yo, you can't just be on the ground and stand up with the ball. <laughs> right? Am I tripping? Like, that's how I've always played. Like, yo, you can't be on the ground with the ball and then just stand up and shoot. Like, I feel like that's a travel. Right? I don't know. That block was crazy. Yeah, you had to do like that little bullshit dribble. You had to do that little bullshit dribble on the ground and try to stand up, bro. The bullshit ground dribble. That was a good game. GG's. That was a crazy block. Now we got game seven. But anyway, should franchise be banned? For me, whew, uh, had, yo, have we had any statements about this? Have we had a statement? Bro, I hate Marku, bro. I really do. I, I yeah, honestly, I don't know shit about like uh I don't I don't know shit about uh like the things that you have to do behind the scenes and stuff. Um but I just know about being a leader and being somebody in charge. Marcus not that guy, bro. He's just not that guy. Like this is a perfect time for you to have to step up and say some shit, bro. And we, we're just tweeting about here. We're just in here tweeting about rugs and little baby, bro. We're just rugs and little baby. I'm assuming we had some type of statement, right? Is this like, is this it? Was this the statement we got, bro? I don't know, man. I don't know. But then, like I said, man, I, I, I don't want to turn into every law somebody saying they DC'd, bro. I don't want I don't want to turn into every single law somebody claiming they DC'd or something like that, bro. That's the statement? Yeah, we'll see. Franchise is an easy person to ban. There's no there's no backlash if you ban franchise. The only backlash is people will now be scared if they're doing some DC shit. But we do have to realize, man, games do disconnect and people get losses. It like it has always happened like that, chat. Do we realize that? Like so do we realize that as as the man community like that shit happens. Not that it should. You know, obviously it's not I'm not saying it's acceptable, but at some point you have to be like, "Bro, that shit happens. That's all, man. Audited for fairness. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. Everybody said it was crazy. I played 50 games and didn't disconnect one time. So I didn't experience it. Um, but because everybody said it, man, I always take you guys' word for it. I do feel like, but at the same time, bro, I feel like a lot of y'all capping. I'll be real. A lot of y'all don't want to say y'all went 17 and 8, so y'all say 20 and 3 DCs. I'm being honest. I be feeling like some of y'all capping. Motherfucker disconnect eight times. Bro, you doing something wrong. The way you booting your shit up, the way you putting your feet up on the wires. Yeah, you are doing something wrong, bro. I'm just being real. But I definitely have DC. Earl, bro. Earl, as my man Earl with the 19 months. Earl, you was getting Earl, you was getting crazy earlier. We were having a deep conversation. You were talking about my man, uh, what's my man, Earl? Uh, Mostert. I forget what we were talking about. We were talking about buying quick selling training, and he was like, kept talking about Mostert. Yeah. I, I do feel like some people are capping, bro. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. It has happened, but I do feel like some people be capping. I do feel like some people be capping. Especially motherfuckers you never heard of. Dude say, yeah, man. I would have won 20, but I had DC'd eight times. I swear to God. I feel like they should give me legend rewards. That's crazy. But honestly, if you ask me, I would ban franchise because... He's easy to ban. There's no backlash. There's no nothing. And I don't know why you guys expect expect uh, joking them to comment about their friend cheating, bro. If I turn out Boogs was on some type of gamer PEDs or some shit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't snitch on him. And I think the whole snitching in general, the whole man community, bro, this guy did this, did that, did it. Y'all crumbs, bro. Look, I got a screenshot of this, this guy disconnected me. Everybody wants to be the John Dillons or the man community, bro, huh? Yeah, like, bro, like, I just, I don't give a shit, bro. A cheat, I, maybe, has a cheater ever won a man tournament, bro? I don't know. I guess they qualified. I guess people qualify for free wins and shit. But everybody's been free winning their whole lives, playing for people, all that shit. For real, for real. Throwing game. Oh, good pass by Kawhi. Now, Franchise is the man. Franchise is a good guy. He's one of them guys that's always happy. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the goal of going... Like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, as a streamer, bro, and a YouTube guy, you, you want to go to 25 and 0 just to tell people you went 25 and 0. There's really not that big a benefit of this shit, really. Let's be honest. If you don't stream or do YouTube, who gives a shit? Like, I, like, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, it means nothing if you don't stream. Seriously. I, I no, I've went 25 and 0 like like four times in my whole life of weekend league. And the worst part was two of them was on Scam Skomo's account. That's the worst part. I got the DDA from Skomo. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah. Rough, rough. But all right, boys, I'm going to cut the show, man. But like I said, I think I think he is a bannable person. I think the, the thing to do is... But, like, this, do you just ban from MCS or do you ban from Weekend League, bro? How about no rewards for a month and you're banned from MCS for the year, bro? That's I feel like that's, I feel like that's harsh. No rewards for a month and you're banned from MCS for a year? I feel like that's, that's harsh. I feel like this. Ban, banned from a club series... No rewards, bro. You can play in DC or whatever else they got. How about that? You're out of club series, but you can play in the other tournaments and no rewards for a month. 30 bird magic. Let's go, man. There he is. 36 months. Club series ban. That's all, bro. No, uh, Y'all getting my man out of here, bro. Y'all getting my man out of here. I like franchising the tournaments. He's like the only one I have a 100% record against. For real. If I saw franchise it, bro... It was always a hell game, but it was always a dub. Madden fan with the Twitch Prime 7 months. But this was the new podcast episode 98. We are two weeks away from the 100th episode. 
What I want you to do is comment below. What was your favorite moment of all these hundred episodes? Because we are putting together a compilation of the best moments. Thanks to my man Vasquez. Great idea. We're going to come through with the best moments. It could be a half hour long. I don't know how long it's going but we will find out this was episode 98. So make sure y'all comment below and please hit the like button. I appreciate y'all. These little hour-long podcasts are getting a thousand views. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of y'all watching. Thank you guys.